Hello everyone, Cubake here. And today, I'd like to share with you all one of my favorite practical magic tricks. Now, being a fan of YouTube, I have seen many magic trick tutorials, but these require an advanced sleight of hand or the purchase of expensive items to perform these tricks. So, what I want to do is share with you all a very easy, very practical trick to deceive and entertain your friends that requires no skill and no money. Because on this channel, I want to teach you all very practical ways to get ahead in life. Life hacks. Because that's what it's all about. The American dream. Getting ahead as easily as possible. Alright, let's begin. All you're going to need is a deck of cards. Have these lying around anywhere. And a magic marker. And of course, your sunglasses. So, what I'm going to do... So I'm going to take cards out. And I'm just going to give them a little bit of a shuffle. All right, and I'm only going to shuffle them once because um, I'm pretty good at it. But I mean, if you're new, you could shuffle them more than once. Okay, anyway, so now I'm going to fan them out. And if you would please come here and uh, pick a card for me. Just pick any card you want. I have them fanned out. You can have anyone in your audience pick. Oh, you're going to pick the top one? Okay, please, if you would, show everybody at home. I'm going to look away. No way I can see it all. I'm going to put the deck down here. Have they all seen the card? Yes. Okay. What I'm going to do is now, I have, you see, many magicians have something like a magic wand, but all I have is a magic marker here. And in it, I've infused my magic, and I'm just going to mark this card with my magic. And now I'm going to take it and put it anywhere in the deck. Anywhere you'd like, please. Right there. Okay, we're going to put it in. Square it up. Now, I actually have no magic myself. It's all within this pen and the actual deck of cards. All I need to do is give a little snap and the card will jump to the top of the deck. Let's see if it has happened. Six of hearts. Was that the card? No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. One more snap. One more try. And here it is. The four of clubs. Is that correct? No. <laughs> oh, oh, I'm, my bad. I forgot. This magical deck of playing cards is actually very shy. And for it to bring the card you have selected to the top, we all need to close our eyes. So if you would, please close your eyes. Everyone at home, close your eyes just for a moment. Okay. Oh, I think it's working. I think, I think the card is magically bringing the selected card to the top. Do you all hear that? Do you hear it? Wow, this truly is a magical experience. Okay, everyone, open your eyes. Everyone at home, thank you. All right, I think everything has worked out as planned, so I'm just going to give it one little snap. And just like that, the card you have selected has been brought to the top of the deck. So, now I'm going to show you how to perform this trick on your own. Like I said, all you're going to need is a pack of playing cards, sunglasses, and a sharpie or magic marker. So, like I said in the beginning, all you do is you take the cards out, and you can shuffle them, it's all completely fair. Once they're all shuffled, I'll just give them a cut. You, you know, fan them out, and then someone goes and they pick them. And so, because I don't want to have to mark two cards here, I'm going to go to the first card we picked, which would be the Joker. So let's say, you know, you fan them out and then they pick the card. So you put the deck down and then they show them the card like we did before. But this is when the magic happens. So they're holding the card. I'm going to set it right here for now. And then you take the pen. You can start with the cap already off or the cap on. I like having the cap on because it's, it's more fair. Taking it off then, it's more fair for the audience. And the thing is, they, will, they won't even be phased. 
because so many magicians use stuff such as a magic marker or a magic wand that when you take this out, they just go along with it. They do not question it, folks. You gotta believe me. I've performed this so many times at school cafeterias, bars, restaurants, on stage, many paid performances for big name people, okay? No one questions it. So, they hold the card. And all you do is when you're touching it, infusing your magic, no, 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 we're just going to get a little, nice little mark. Okay, we got the mark on there. So then, you just put the pen away, that's all you need it for, and then this is completely fair. You just say, okay, anywhere, you just fold them out, and they put it in, that's all completely fair. Then you square it up. And then, you put the cards down on the table. And then you can do that little gag of, okay, I'm going to snap and it'll come to the top. And, you know, we're just going to do that gag because it's going to make it work so much naturally and just feel so organic when you say, we have to close our eyes because this deck of cards is shy. And this, this is why I told you guys to close your eyes because now some of you, I may have tricked some of you. You may have believed that the deck actually by itself did that, but no, no, no. When you guys all had your eyes closed... I picked up the cards, and I went through until I found the one that was marked, which is the Joker. And then you can make comments like, oh, do you hear that? Do you hear the cards ruffling, the friction, the kinetic energy? I think it's doing it. Just, you know, to make them think, oh, wow, the card's actually doing this on their own. And that's when you take it, the marked card is the Joker, and you bring it to the top. And now this is where the sunglasses come into play. Now, because I have the sunglasses on, you guys can't tell if my eyes are opened or closed. So, if for some reason you have someone who isn't playing by the rules and decides to open their eyes while you're doing this and open your eyes and not play by the rules, you can say, Oh, my eyes are closed. The deck just, it's magic. And then, one thing that I always love to do if you have someone who decides to peek during that point, you say, Oh, look at that person. They don't like magic. They're trying to ruin it for the rest of them, party pooper. You're ruining everything, you loser. And that'll completely take all attention off you, and everyone will just hate on that person and say, Oh, what a loser. You don't like real magic. Works every time. Every time. I actually had to do that to Bradley Cooper once at one of my big shows, so every time. Then you put the deck down, and you are so ahead at this point. You are so ahead. Just take comfort in knowing that. Now you're going to do snap, and this, this is real magic. This is a moment of magic. Take your time. You don't want to flip it too fast. You don't want to accuse your card. You just want to take your time. Really relish. Relish the moment. So you slowly flip it. And there is their card. Like I said, practical magic trick. Thank you guys so much for walking, watching. <laughs> Please like and subscribe if you want to see more of this stuff. I'm Q Bake. And I'll see you next time.